What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today we need to discuss something that's been on a lot of people's minds, and that is a certain feature that really, really needs to get added to this game, and that is saved loadouts for your heroes. How often do you guys simply not do something the way you really should because it takes so long to swap gear, switch enables, swap hero lineups, everything like that. It takes forever. I mean, right, guys? Especially when you get on accounts where you get a bunch of heroes. You got Guild Wars where you want to optimally swap gear to every single lineup. But let's be honest. How many of you guys do that out there every single time? I don't even do that anymore. Uh, it just is it's so cumbersome. You end up losing gear sometimes and trying to figure out where your gear is, let alone changing enables on all your heroes because then once you finish Guild Wars, you have to remember to switch back to your PvP enables. Otherwise, uh, guess what? You're probably losing a lot of fights. So uh, we're going to jump into some mock-ups that our buddy Ibex is, uh, has kind of mocked up for us. You might remember last Monday as well. He did the nice, cool infographic on Brave Trials. So I'm going to put a link in the description to the whole video he did. Uh, it's it's kind of a mock-up he did of how loadouts should be in the game, in my opinion. I like what he's designing. Uh, make sure you go over there. Give him a sub. Give him some love over there. Although, I think he does some private server stuff too. Not 100% sure. But, um... All his infographics lately have been amazing. It's really cool. I'll actually put a link to the, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll put a link to the Reddit post that he posted this in. And then you guys can either go to his YouTube if you want to check out the video or just chill on Reddit since most of you guys are probably familiar with Reddit anyway. So let's jump into a few of the pictures right now. So let's start out going over this picture right here. It's an example from, I believe, um, Interdimensional Arena. But you notice towards the top here, there's a new button with loadouts with a check mark. So the way it's mocked up is essentially you can either use the loadouts or not. If you uncheck it, you go back to the normal mode. If you check it, you are in loadouts mode where you're actually going to swap your heroes around. So in this picture right here, it will show you you have a bunch of different loadouts preset, pre-saved. You can change the icon on them as well if you want to... Uh, if you want to change it up, I would personally like to have a name right on this as well to make it a little easier to tell what they are. But once you get into the hero's formation, this is what he designed right here. You see at the top, you can give it a loadout name. You can auto-fill heroes. You can auto-equip heroes. You can copy bag equipments and stuff like that. So um, it's pretty cool. It shows you your heroes here on the left. It shows you what gear they have on. It shows you the stone they have as well as the artifact the enables, their stats, a whole bunch of different things. Um, so I think this might actually be an example from the private server. Based on the icons I'm seeing here, I know a lot of these I think are special ones from the private server. We won't go too much into it, but uh, I like the layout. And it makes it very simple, whereas you click on a piece of gear, you can simply swap the piece of gear from there. If you click on the enables, you can jump into the enables and swap them out and save these loadouts. It's a really cool looking thing. Um, I like it because the nice part is putting the stats on this page as well is really convenient to see how fast heroes are and if you need to swap speeds because right now if you need to play the speed game you got to go in and click into each individual hero not even in your game mode you're just back in your heroes bag and you're looking and you're trying to compare speeds things like that even health is important and attack is important nowadays with heroes like ticks with assassins that go for low health targets you Sometimes I want to play that game of let me see my whole team and let me see what stats they're actually going to be sitting at. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see here further down on the list, the, he, at, towards the end of his video, he decided a cool thing to do would be adding a move heroes around just up and down features. So you don't have to completely remove them and add them again. This will let you move them between slots one and six pretty easily. Uh, I really like that idea because it's a something. It's a it's a system that's already in the game of moving something up or down one slot. It's something that's already in the game, which makes it easier, in my opinion, to implement something like this or for them to actually consider. Um, I really like it. I think this would be something that would be a huge step forward 
to cutting down on the amount of time it takes to do things in Isle Heroes. Because honestly, one thing that I think a lot of people, a lot of people are enjoying is they are putting the effort in to add more game modes. The problem is those game modes by themselves would be fine, but the fact that every single game mode, you need to change how your heroes are equipped, how your heroes are enabled, everything, even stone changes, artifact changes, everything. It is so time consuming. It is ridiculous. I would literally have a different loadout. Let's see. I would have a different loadout for the vortex in the void. I would have a different loadout for realms gate. I would have a different, uh, I guess celestial island would be just be PVP anyway. So I'm not there. So we definitely have two for the void. I would want to add one for normal PVP for trial of champion IDA. Yeah, definitely IDA loadouts as well. Um, Free team arena, not so much because that's just your normal PvP lineup anyway. I would have a different loadout for your Aspen dungeon. I would have a different loadout for broken spaces. I would have a different loadout for even just your flame shrine bosses. And lastly, I would have different loadouts for your guild wars. I mean, there's so many different things in this game right now that just are eating away at our time. And it makes it so you really can't enjoy what you are doing me personally even me making content i'm to the point i'm kind of dropping the royalty meme team off because there's just not enough time to enjoy playing the accounts anymore i feel like i feel like it's a good thing and a bad thing it's good because there's more content and more things to do on your account the bad thing is it took so long to get to that point a lot of us are now in the way we had to enjoy the game in the past was have multiple different servers on multiple different accounts, so on and so forth, to have things to do to enjoy it. We have different teams, different accounts, different servers. But I know a lot of people, a lot of people are either losing interest because just in general, even on their whale accounts, because it just feels like there's so much they have to do and they're constantly chasing this new void meta. While others like me, I'm just simply dropping accounts off. They're, they're just going inactive because I just don't have the time or want to do all these things across three to four different accounts. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I really, really am enjoying these mock-ups he's done. Honestly, this one right here is probably my favorite where he points to it and showing the new move heroes buttons. That's, that's really, really cool. I really got to commend Ivex. It's really, really awesome. And these mock-ups are amazing mainly cool i think moving forward at least once a week what we are going to be doing on this channel is having one video that we discuss an idea to make the game better kind of like what we used to talk about on the podcast but of course a lot of us are having time constraints we don't have enough time in our free time to actually sit down and do the podcast so i'd love to do one video a week i think to talk about a topic just like this, something really cool. It doesn't have to be something that somebody's made really cool mock-ups on. It's just gonna be something that is enjoyable. So what we're gonna do here, and I, what, what I want you guys to do is in the comments below, give me give me your feedback. I wanna try to make these videos so we can pass the, develop, or pass the info on to the developers in video form, as well as all the text ways that we've been doing it through the uh, Idle Heroes content creator program, between all the Reddit Q&As, all those things. I want to try to get even more information to the developers in every form possible. So we are gonna do a giveaway in this video. Doesn't matter how many subscribers we get, nothing like that. Just straight up, we're gonna do a CD key giveaway. I'm gonna, I, I wanna read just about every one of your guys' comments if I have time. And then based on those comments, the ones that I see that are upvoted the most. So make sure you guys are reading on the comments and hit that upvote on people's comments you agree with. Uh, and we'll try to do a video every single week, at least one a week, talking about the future of Idle Heroes, what we wanna see from the game to make it better. Because I think, I mean, I, at the end of the day, everybody here, you guys love the game. You want the game to be better. A lot of you guys might've been disappointed with the void, different game modes. Heck, even I'm kind of disappointed with modes like the Vortex. But again, we don't know what else is coming in the future. And just like Aspen Dungeon Death, which we thought was completely impossible to do, you get different things added to the game like Ormus Workshop, that even at first Ormus, a lot of people were really, really down about that, about that event. But 
It has become one of the coolest and fun things part of the game. And I really hope more modes come in the future and more features get implemented into the game for us to actually enjoy the game more. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you leave a comment. We will do a giveaway. I will pick someone probably within the next week, announce it in the next week's video where we do another, another thing similar to this. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button too. We are growing so fast. We're getting so, so close to 27,000 subscribers. And we are just about at our one year anniversary on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep growing. Let's keep helping the game grow and get better. See you guys next time.